it doesn't get easier. This is episode 50 and it's still a struggle, guys. Loud cars, flying sheets. Oh, just hold on a second. Welcome to my world. I want to give a toast. A toast to you guys, because I did not start doing videos until just a few years ago. And when I started this vlog 50 weeks ago, 50 episodes ago, I was nervous. I was frightened, I was scared. I would stumble on my words. Um, but I wanted you guys to know the true me, the authentic Liz. Not just the highlight reels that you see on social media, not just the great things. I wanted you to see everything. I wanted you to meet my family and my friends. I wanted you to go dance on bars and go to concerts. And I wanted you to feel like you're a part of my family and you are a close friend to me. And I did these things scared. I did these things nervous. You know, I cuss on Liz Out Loud. I never cussed on social media before. I was able to truly be myself and show that to you guys, even though I was scared and I was nervous and there were times that I thought, oh, we should take that part out or, oh, I sound so stupid or why did I say that? Or, you know, all of the things that we can nitpick at ourselves about. Um, and I'm just, it's been really amazing. Some of the things that I've been able to capture that I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have done this project, I would have missed videoing Ruby riding the bike and I probably wouldn't have learned the lesson and been able to share that lesson of Ruby learning to ride the bike. Remember you guys, she used positive peer pressure to do something that she really, really badly wanted to do. She saw her younger cousin do it and she used that to say, if he can do it, I can do it also. So I was able to capture so many things that I wouldn't have by doing this Liz Out Loud and this vlog series. and so. It's just been amazing. And even though I was scared, even though I was hard on myself, I got messages episode after episode of saying, Liz, were you talking about me? Or were you talking to me? Or I really needed to hear that message or that lesson. So thank you for messaging me. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you because it encouraged me to still do these things with fear, with nerves, trembling, upset tummy. So thank you for doing that. I remember the first time that I vlogged in public and it was my very first episode. I had to get certain things on this video and for this vision that I saw and to get the message to you guys and so you can learn about me and we could do go on this journey together. The very first time I vlogged in public, I felt ridiculous. I was so embarrassed. We were in the airport, we had just landed in New Orleans and we were walking through the airport and I was talking to my camera and I was with my friends and I knew they thought I was crazy anyway, so that didn't matter. But I was walking and I could see people looking at me and oh my gosh, more people are looking at me and these girls start walking towards me. They were probably eight and they're like, oh my gosh, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I am, right? I have YouTube videos. And I felt like such a fraud and such a phony and um, but they were so excited and so I knew at that moment okay okay I can make a difference maybe just those girls seeing me at the airport has inspired them to make videos you know whatever it is or maybe you learned a lesson from one of my Liz out loud or maybe you got to know me and thought oh my gosh I want to chase after my wildest dreams this is how that started I wanted people to face their fears and do the things anyways do the things anyways, even though you're scared. So raise your glasses and cheers to doing things afraid, doing things scared, getting out of your own way to make a difference, to make a change and to be authentically you. I want you to play big and cheers to believing in yourself.
I believe in you.